Hi, I'm Laura from Balanced Wellness and today I'm going to be talking about malfunctioning ileocecal valves. We see lots of our clients with digestive pain and a common cause of this digestive pain can be a malfunctioning ileocecal valve. So I want to first tell you a little bit about the digestion and how it works. So we have our stomach at the top which starts to break down our food once we've swallowed it. And then it goes into the, the small intestine, which is above the belly button. Now, if you suffer with pain around just on the right hand side or on the left hand side, it could be coming from a malfunctioning ileocecal valve. The ileocecal valve is actually a doorway that connects the small intestine to the large intestine. And what it does is allows food that has been processed by the small intestine to come through into the large intestine as waste and then we can get rid of it. The difficulty happens when that valve either gets stuck open, which means that waste can come back up into the small intestine, which can be very painful, or it can get stuck shut. And that means that we can suffer with things like constipation. If you have an ileocecal valve that's malfunctioning, you can experience a lot of different symptoms. So digestive pain, cramping, diarrhea, uh, even things like uh, pain in your back or shoulders, headaches, feeling lethargic. So there are lots of symptoms that can go with this. It causes a lot of IBS. So where exactly is your ileocecal valve? If you find your hip bone and find your belly button, on the right hand side is your ileocecal valve in between these two points. On the left hand side in between your hip bone and your belly button, is the rings of Houston. This is another area in the digestion that can cause pain. So if you place your hand there, and this is where you get a lot of pain and griping, then it could suggest that your ileocecal valve or the rings of Houston are struggling. So three top tips if you suspect that you have a malfunctioning ileocecal valve. First of all, you can find a practitioner who specializes in balancing the ileocecal valve and the rings of Houston. So top tip number two, if you suspect that your ileocecal valve is stressed, is to avoid raw food. It really struggles to process it and digest it. Therefore, we would recommend that with your fruit and your vegetables that you lightly steam or cook them. Go for options more like casseroles and soups, which will be a lot easier on the digestion than raw food. Top tip number three, drink plenty of water, but away from food because water can flush away your digestive enzymes. So you want to be drinking plenty of water. The large intestine is responsible for absorbing the majority of our water. And so if you're dehydrated, you're going to be getting more bowel pain. If you have any questions or want to know more about the digestion and the ileocecal valve, you can contact us through our website, www.balancedwellness.co.uk or find us on Facebook.